من الشیطان الرجیم بسم اللہ الرحمن الرحیم آپ کا میزبان عارف جہانگیری ایک دفعہ پھر پروگرام کمیونٹی ٹاک کے ساتھ ناظرین حاضر ہیں سب سے پہلے تو معذرت خواہ ہوں کہ ایک بڑے عرصے کے بعد تقریباً چھ ہفتوں کا ایک گیپ ہے جس کے بعد آج پروگرام میں دوبارہ شروع کر رہا ہوں اور اس کی وجوہات یہ کہ میری جو بیٹی تھی اس کی شادی تھی تو اس سلسلے میں کافی مصروف رہا اس کے علاوہ میری کچھ پرسنل حوالے سے کچھ مصروفیات تھی جس کی وجہ سے تھوڑی سی گیپ آیا ہے تو بہت معذرت خواہ ناظرین کے ساتھ جو پروگرام کمیونٹی ٹاک بار بار دیکھتے ہیں آپ کو کچھ ریپیٹ پروگرامز دیکھنے پڑے امید ہے کہ آپ میری معذرت کو قبول فرمائیں گے دوسری اہم بات شہر مسز ساگا اور ملٹن کے حوالے سے ایک اندوکناک واقعہ ہوا ہے ویسے تو شہر کے اندر جی ٹی اے کے اندر روز ہی کوئی نہ کوئی شوٹنگ کے واقعات ہوتے ہیں روز ہی کوئی نہ کوئی کرائم یہاں پر ہوتا ہے لیکن یہ بڑا اندوکناک واقعہ ہے اس حوالے سے ہے کہ مسز ساگا کے اندر ایک پولیس آفیسر کو جو ہے وہ شوٹ کر دیا گیا اور حالانکہ وہ کوئی ٹریننگ کے حوالے سے آیا ہوا تھا ٹیم ہارٹن پہ بیٹھا ہوا تھا وہاں پر جو ہے وہ جو کرمنل وہ آیا اور اس نے ان کو شوٹ کر دیا اب اس کے پیچھے کیا وجوہات ہیں کیا تحقیقات ہیں وہ ابھی آ رہی ہیں منظر عام پر اچھا پھر ہوا یہ نہیں کہ وہ وہاں پر رک جاتا بلکہ اس نے کیا کیا وہ گاڑی جو چلا رہا تھا وہ بھی سنیچنگ کی گاڑی تھی تو وہ چلا کر ملٹن گیا ہے اور ملٹن میں جس ورک شاپ پہ شاید وہ پہلے کام کرتا رہا ہے اس ورک شاپ میں پہنچا ہے وہاں پر شاید پیسوں کا تقاضا کیا ہے یا یا گاڑی تبدیل کرنا چاہتا تھا بھاگنے کے لیے بہرحال ہوا یہ ہے کہ وہاں پر کوئی ان کے درمیان کانفلکٹ ہوا ہے تو اس نے وہاں پر فائر کھول دیا اور جتنے ملازمین تھے سبھی کو تقریباً اس نے فائر کھولا ہے بلکہ جو کسٹمر آ رہے تھے ان کو بھی جو ہے نا اس نے فائرنگ کی اوپن بالکل اسٹریٹ اس کے نتیجے میں یہ ہوا ہے کہ ایک تو جو مین وہاں پر جو اونر تھے شکیل اشرف صاحب وہ جو ہے وہ کافی پاپولر آدمی تھے ٹیپ بال کرکٹ بھی کھلا کرتے ملٹن کے اندر ینگ آدمی تھے کافی ایج نہیں تھی ان کی ان کی تین بچیاں ہیں چھوٹی چھوٹی الفلا اسلامک اسکول میں پڑھتی ہیں تو بہرحال یہ کہ وہ جو ہے وہ آن دا اسپاٹ آئی کہ وہ ڈیتھ ہو گئی یا پھر بہت زخمی ہو گئے لیکن بہرحال ان وہ ان, ان, ان کا انتقال ہو گیا اس زخموں کی وجہ سے دوسرا وہاں پر ایک انڈین اسٹوڈنٹس بھی کام کرتا تھا ان کے ورک شاپ کے اندر پارٹ ٹائم کے طور پر وہ بھی بری طرح زخمی ہوا اور آج کی اطلاع ہے کہ وہ بھی جو ہے بیچارہ اس دنیا فانی سے کوچ کر گیا ہے تیسرے صاحب جو تھے وہ جو ہیں ان کو گولی لگی ٹانگ پہ وہ بہرحال زخمی ہیں اور وہ بچ گئے تو یہ صورتحال تھی بہرحال یہ کہ جو سب سے اہم بات یہ ہے کہ جب سے ہم دیکھتے ہیں کہ گورنمنٹ نے یہ فیڈرل گورنمنٹ نے یہ گنز لا کے حوالے سے کوئی اسپیسیفک جو ہے نا ٹارگیٹس لاز نہیں لے کر آ رہی کوئی ہارڈ ان لاز نہیں لے کر آ رہے اور اس کے نتیجے میں ہم دیکھتے ہیں کہ یہ کرائم بڑھتے چلے جا رہے ہیں اور دوسری اہم بات جو ڈرگز کے حوالے سے ایمنیشن کے حوالے سے اور جب سے میروانہ اور تمام چیزوں کے اوپر ایز کیا گیا ہے اس کے نتیجے میں کیا ہو رہا ہے کہ بہت سارے کرائم اور جنریٹ کر رہے ہیں اور نہ صرف یہ کہ مینٹل ڈس آڈرس بڑھ رہے ہیں بلکہ کرائمز میں بھی اضافہ ہو رہا ہے تو جو ہمارے پولیٹیکل لوگ ہیں انہیں اس طرف توجہ دینی چاہیے اور آپ کو پتہ ہے کہ اب اگلے مہینے جو ہے وہ کونسلر کا الیکشن جو ہے وہ آیا ہی چاہتا ہے اور میں جو ہے آج سے یہ کمپین شروع کر رہا ہوں کونسلر کے حوالے سے اور میں نے کچھ کونسلر کو آج اپنے پروگرام میں مدعو بھی کیا اور میری فوکس میرا بنیادی طور پر دو چیزیں بڑی اہم ہیں کیونکہ بڑے سٹی سے ریلیٹڈ ہے میں کیونکہ بہت عرصے میرے بچے خود جو ہیں وہ ہائی اسکولس میں جاتے ہیں پڑھتے ہیں آئی سو دیم ایز ویل آئی سو آؤٹ سائڈ دیئر اسکول ڈرگز از سیلنگ دیئر یور چلڈرنز آر ٹیکنگ دا ڈرگس اور بار بار میں کونسلر سے مختلف لوگوں سے کمپلین کرتا ہوں بات بھی کرتا ہوں ایم پی پی سے بات کرتا ہوں But I don't find any really uh, see that there is some improvement in the society. There is some improvement in that order. People are saying that, but there is, I don't see there is any concrete action is taking uh, either from the city government, either from the uh, provincial government, either from the federal government. So I think these are some serious crimes that are they going to be happen that destroying the peace of the society. And that's why it's very uh, for us that we can look into. So I will call a few people today. who are the consular candidate from the Mississauga as well as from the Toronto at Obico. So I, my first guest, I want to, you know very well him, he is mm -hmm. my regular guest of my community program, uh, International Affairs. Most of the time you saw him and he is running the uh, Toronto City election from the at Obico North Ward 1. So I welcome Divanshu Narang Saab. Navanshu Narang Saab. <laughs> I is very happy to see you that you are in the, in the local politics, uh, city politics now. نہیں پولیٹکس میں آئے نہیں ہیں پر ایک شروعات کرنے کی کوشش کر رہے ہیں کیونکہ ایکٹیویزم کا نیکسٹ اسٹیپ جو ہے وہ یہ ہے کہ آپ کو پولیٹکس میں اتر کے اگر آپ چینج لانا چاہتے ہیں کریٹو چینج سچ میں لانا چاہتے ہیں 
तो आपको एक रिस्क लेना ही पड़ेगा और अपने को लोगों के सामने प्रस्तुत करना पड़ेगा एज एन ऑल्टरनेटिव और उसके लिए मैं आया हूँ सो आई एम नॉट हेयर फॉर अपोजिशन और एनी थिंग आई मैं समझता हूँ कि मैं कुछ चेंज ला सकता हूँ और मेरे विचार कई सालों से जैसे रहे हैं आप सब लोगों ने देखे हैं और उन विचारों को क्रियान्वित करने का उन विचारों को एक्शन में लाने के लिए और एक सही समाज की कोशिश करने के लिए मैं इसमें हूँ नहीं आपका तो मतलब दिवानशु साहब का तो एक दर्जन ये एक बड़े इम्पोर्टेंट आप सबको पता है कि ही इज़ अ ग्रेट ह्यूमन राइट्स पर्सन एंड ही फाइट फॉर ईच एंड एवरी पर्सन विदाउट एनी बायस दैट्स आई सॉ हिम मुझे पता है कि इनके अंदर कोई बायस नहीं है बगैर किसी बायस के जो सही बात है उसको सपोर्ट करते हैं जो गलत बात है उसकी मुखालफत करते हैं and i know him very well from long Dhaniwad. time now Dhaniwad. and Dhaniwad. i think so this is one of some of the qualities you have or or activist to aap hai hi purane aur political activist hain kai member of parliaments ke sath aapne milke kaam kiya hai ground pe kaam kiya hai logon ke sath kaam kiya hai kai agitation mein shamil rahe hain to i know that ki you have lot of good experience of this position Jee. so kaisi chal rahi hai campaign campaigning to dekhiye aisa hai ki meri campaigning uh, jo hai wo ek main एक मैं एक मॉडल कैंपेनिंग की तरह इसको एक एग्जांपल के रूप में प्रस्तुत करना चाहता हूं तो मेरी कैंपेन ग्रास रूट लेवल पे है कोई किसी का कोई मैंने अपने उसमें भी लिखा नो स्ट्रिंग्स अटैच कोई मेरा पॉलिटिकल बाप दादा मास्टर नहीं है नहीं। मैं अपने बेसिस पर लड़ रहा हूं इलेक्शन लोगों के पास जा रहा हूं मैं खुद अपने आप उन्नीस घरों को कवर कर चुका हूँ डोर टू डोर नॉकिंग और ये नहीं की कोई कम्युनिटी में जाना की कोई इंडियन कम्युनिटी या साउथ एशियन कम्युनिटी में ही सबके पास चाहे गोरा हो काला हो ब्राउन हो अक्रॉस द बोर्ड अक्रॉस द बोर्ड मैं सबके पास जा रहा हूँ और सबको बता रहा हूँ और मुझे सबसे बड़ी देखिए ठोकरे भी मिलती हैं आफ्टर ऑल आप सड़क पे चलेंगे तो पत्थर भी मिलेंगे पर इतना प्यार भी मिल रहा है लोगों से एंड पीपल आर एबल टू अंडरस्टैंड द थिंग तो मेरी तो कैंपेनिंग में लोग बड़े बड़े फ्लायर पे चालीस चालीस सेंट के होते हैं मेरा केवल तीन सेंट का बिजनेस कार्ड है उसी पर सब कुछ लिखा है और वेबसाइट के डिटेल्स हैं कम पैसे में और एक मॉडल कैंपेन जो रन करनी है क्योंकि तो अल्टीमेटली मैं सबको यही कहता हूं और मैं जो खुद भी समझता हूं कि देर आर नो फ्री लंचेज इन द सोसाइटी अगर कोई लाख डॉलर या सत्तर अस्सी हजार डॉलर खर्च करेगा तो उसका कुछ रिटर्न भी सोचेगा हम तो अपना जो है फकीरों की तरह आए फकीरों की तरह जाएंगे और चार तीन चार हजार डॉलर में मैनेज करेंगे परंतु एक मैसेज छोड़ के जाएंगे कि एक सही कैंपेन भी रन की जा सकती है आपके पास काउंसलर कैंडिडेट और भी आएंगे ये बड़ी आपने देखे भी होंगे पुराने आप तो इस फील्ड में माहिर हैं लोग बड़ी बड़ी बातें करते हैं हम इन्फ्लेशन को कंट्रोल करेंगे मेरे चले आप 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 मेरा फोकस पर्टिकुलर एजेंडा बताइए पर्टिकुलर किस पे काम कर रहे हैं मेरा फोकस जो है देखिए काउंसलर की पावर्स बड़ी लिमिटेड है ठीक है और हम बड़ी बातें करने की जगह और सबसे पहली बात जो है हमारे यहाँ काउंसलर थे माइकल फोर्ड तो जो मैं फोर्ड नेशन एरिया है उसमें मैं हूँ और ये सब जो बड़े लोग की बातें होती है वो बड़ी बातों पर फोकस करते हैं जबकि काउंसलर का सबसे पहला जॉब है कि वो रेजिडेंस के लिए हमेशा अवेलेबल हो मैं अपने कार में सबको अपना सेल नंबर दे रहा हूं और ये कह रहा हूं कि फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल माय रिस्पांसिबिलिटी विल बी टुवर्ड्स रेजिडेंट्स आपको कोई परेशानी हो दिन में हो रात में हो कोई रीचेबल यूर रीचेबल आई विल बी आई लिव इन दर्ड आई एम वन ऑफ द फ्यू कैंडिडेट एक्चुअली लिविंग इन दर्ड आई लिव इन दर्ड आई बी रीचेबल ऑन कॉल बेसिस तो दैट इज माई फर्स्ट और आपकी कोई परेशानी है उसका सोल्यूशन निकालने की स्थिति के साथ या ऑप्शन लाने की जिम्मेवारी मेरी वट आर सम इम्पोर्टेंट इश्यूज इन योर एरिया सेकेंड पॉइंट मेरा यही है जो हमारा सबसे बड़ा इम्पोर्टेंट एरिया है इशू है वो है हमारी रोड और पार्क जो है टोटली ऐसी हालत है कि आपको लगेगा आपको सच में अगर आपको इंडिया के दर्शन करने हो या शायद पाकिस्तान के भी तो आप एटोबी को नॉर्थ में आ जाएं आपको वहां की सड़कें जो है पूरा उसका उबड़ खाबड़ सड़कें हैं पार्क्स का बुरा हाल हो रखा है एंड वहां से चार किलोमीटर नीचे जाएंगे आप एटोबी को सेंटर में तो आपको लगेगा कि हाँ आप वापस कनाडा में आ गए लाइफ इज बेटर नहीं आप सच में आपको लगेगा देश का परिवर्तन हो गया दैट नीड्स टू चेंज वी आर वी आर वन ऑफ द पुअरस्ट नेबरहुड ऑफ ट्रॉनो चौहत्तर हजार डॉलर से कम की हमारी एनुअल इनकम है फैमिली फैमिली इनकम जबकि एटोबी कोक सेंटर इज लाइक हंड्रेड फिफ्टीन थाउजेंड यूएस हंड्रेड फिफ्टीन थाउजेंड डॉलर वी मे बी अ पुअर नेबरहुड But that does not mean that we should be an under maintained. No, we are in a wealth. We are living in a welfare society. And no, and and. Look, taxes. So ultimately, you exactly. see, we pay more than the other. Taxes. So we also pay more than the other. Exactly. So I want that our roads are repaved. My second focus is that our roads are maintained properly, parks are maintained properly, and the third most important thing is 
मैं अपने एग्जाम्पल से जानता हूँ मैं एक वन रूम अपार्टमेंट से हमारी लाइफ शुरू हुई थी जो फादर ने शुरू की थी और जो हम पॉवर्टी से बाहर निकले या जो भी लाइफ में ग्रोथ किया इट वॉज ऑल ऑन द बेसिस ऑफ एजुकेशन द राइट एजुकेशन सो अवर नेबरहुड इज वेरी पुअर नेबरहुड एंड आई वॉन्ट टू फोकस ऑन एजुकेशन आउट देयर एंड कम्युनिटी कॉलेजेस एंड स्किल बेस्ड एजुकेशन सो दैट a lot of people who are stuck up in that uh, circle of poverty mm-hmm. they can come out through it through education mm-hmm. and fourth most important point which i want to focus on is transit mm-hmm. we have a very poor transit system kisi bhi did, did the city control the transit system yeah city okay see dekhi province ka province fund karta hai mm-hmm. but ultimately ttc jo hai wo control karti hai ttc, TTC to city hi control karti hai so Chik. the city controls the province uh, the, the the transit system aur hamara transit system मतलब ऐसा है कि बयां भी नहीं कर सकते सड़कें टूटी मैं खुद पांच कंट्रीज में रहा हूं एंड आई ट्रेवल टू फोर्टी ऑट कंट्रीज इन द वर्ल्ड एनी गुड सिटी ऑफ द वर्ल्ड हैज अ ग्रेट ट्रांजिट सिस्टम बीजिंग थर्टी सिक्स सबवे लाइन शंघाई ट्वेंटी सिक्स सबवे लाइन टोक्यो ट्वेंटी सिक्स सबवे लाइन न्यूयॉर्क ट्वेंटी फाइव सबवे लाइन नई दिल्ली जो 2008 से बनाना शुरू किया 12 सबवे लाइंस, बॉम्बे 8 सबवे लाइंस, टोरंटो 4 सबवे लाइंस, चार्टीन पॉपुलेशन पॉपुलेशन स्कैटर्ड है वेदर एक्सट्रीम है इसलिए ट्रांजिट सिस्टम रेलवे और ज्यादा जरूरी है बिकॉज वॉट यू नीड इज सी एनी कनेक्शन नहीं है गुड कनेक्शन भी नहीं है सही कह आप लंडन ले लीजिए एनी गुड सिटी हैज टू हैव यू सी the connectivity should be a one hour connectivity from point a to point b and not just the city aap delhi wagera jaye aap beijing shanghai jaye suburbs bhi yani mississauga mein aap jaise aapke location mein baithe hain yahan se aapko downtown toronto jana hai agar aapko 1 ghante se zyada lagta hai that means the transit system is wrong that needs to change okay. hamara focus has to be on mass based transit system so, my next question very important question because Jee. i talk in the initial discussion Jee. as well that keep uh, uh, security issues ji bilkul and the drugs issues Jee. in the society ji and uh, where the where the responsibility of city come on that one bilkul dekhiye aisa hai ki ye uh, mere paas bahut se log aaye ki aap hamare progressive agenda ko support kare aur hum aapko apna progressive candidate bana dete hain ya socialist candidate dekhiye mera ek manna bahut law and order kisi bhi shehar ke liye sabse important cheez hoti hai जब तक कोई नागरिक अपने को सेफ नहीं महसूस करता तब तक उस सिटी का लॉ उस सिटी में रहना बड़ा मुश्किल है सो लॉ एंड ऑर्डर हैज टू बी फोकस सिटी पुलिस को डिफंड करना या पुलिस की पावर्स कम करना दैट इज रॉन्ग नंबर वन आई कुछ कुछ चीजें हैं पुलिस की जैसे माउंटेन्स वगैरह है दीज आर ऑल यूजलेस एरा ऑफ द रेप्लिकाज ऑफ द ओल्ड दैट नीड्स टू बी रिमूव एंड द बजट नीड्स टू बी पुल्ड फ्रॉम देयर दैट वी कैन डू but the police needs to be strong the law and order hamare yahan aajkal car theft has become a menace mm-hmm. i i don't know so much about mississauga but in no, at, in toronto it is like crazy exactly. and i think it is the same thing in peel region yes also. yes this there has to be special driving special forces not just in toronto but i would say all the three police uh, gta police has to merge Work together, together to fo- form a task force which is focusing on car theft so and if you have become the councillor tomorrow yeah. how you resolve sorry how you resolve this i issue? will first of all ensure that a task i would like to uh, you see this is in the hands of the mayor yeah. but i would definitely like to move an agenda in the council that we establish a task force in consultation with all the three mm-hmm. uh, all the three um, you know the peel region and the and all, Markham, the, all the peel region actually, yeah. and toronto and we sp- establish a task force not just for the car theft but as you talked about drugs you know mm-hmm. drugs I do, you see, ये सब सोसाइटी की गंदी चीजें हैं चाहे वो ड्रग्स हो चाहे वो ये और मैं समझता हूँ कि मैं तो शुरू से इसके खिलाफ था जब इन्होंने ड्रग्स को ओके भी किया देखिए जब ये हमारा यूथ जो है उसको भटकने के आप आसान तरीके देंगे exactly. तो वो आपको आपको ये नहीं है कि वो मेरिजाना पे ही अटका रहेगा वो और भी ड्रग्स पे जाएगा और बढ़ता रहेगा ये देखिये हमने अपने बच्चों को स्ट्रॉन्ग करियर देना है और माँ बाप को कोई भी माँ बाप ये नहीं चाहेगा कि उसका बच्चा ड्रग में अटका हुआ है तो आई डोंट आई एब्सोल्युटली वुड बी हैव बीन टॉकिंग अगेंस्ट इट आई वुड कंटिन्यू टू फाइट विद द प्रोविंस विद द फेडरल गवर्नमेंट दैट वी ट्राई एंड पुट एंड टू दिस काइंड ऑफ अ थिंग एंड स्पेश गन कंट्रोल डेफिनेटली बट 
इन मैं सब चीजों पे वापस आता हूं इन सब चीजों का एक और जो, जो वो बीज जो है वो है पॉवर्टी और वो है लैक ऑफ एजुकेशन सो आई वांट टू ट्रैकल इट थ्रू दैट रूट कॉज ऑफ पॉवर्टी ऑफ इराडिकेटिंग पॉवर्टी सो दैट पीपल गेट इनटू ऑल दीज थिंग्स एंड प्रॉपर एजुकेशन व्हेन पीपल हैव प्रॉपर एजुकेशन व्हेन पीपल हैव बेटर जॉब्स देन फॉर एग्जांपल आई But, this, but the city, how the city, it is not in the hand of the city that to provide the jobs, right? They can provide no, 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 the infrastructure. Of course, they can provide this first no, no, infrastructure. No, no, of course, they can. This is the thing. 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 Uh, content generation yeah, okay. there are so many jobs in set production in 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 in, in film production like set design mm. sound uh, music bhagwan bala kare ye lights many and, many things and, many and areas. so many areas animation mm. effects mm -hmm. so many things uske liye they are getting people from outside okay. yeah those things are being sent to vancouver or la why mm. or people are coming from there if you train the people out here and those skills are available and the city does कुछ छोटे मोटे हम्बर कॉलेज या ये शेरेडन कॉलेज या इसमें स्टार्ट इनके साथ वोकेशनल कोर्सेज कम्युनिटी वोकेशनल कोर्सेज करे और हमारे बंद देन यू कैन गेट जॉब्स ऑफ ट्वेंटी फाइव डॉलर फिफ्टी डॉलर सेवेंटी फाइव डॉलर बेटर लिविंग बेटर लिविंग यू डोंट नीड टू वर्क टू और थ्री जॉब्स टू सर्वाइव यू कैन हैव बेटर करियर फॉर योर सेल्फ एंड जब हम अपने लोकल फैसिलिटीज हम अपने लोकल यूथ के लिए और फैसिलिटीज बनाने एनालिटिक्स एनालिटिक्स हैज बिकम अ बिग बिग ड्रॉ Why should we have people from outside, or why should even हम यहाँ पे analytics के लिए India वगैरह से बातें कर रहे हैं लोग आ रहे हैं। दवाई शुरू साहब उम्मीद कर रहे हैं कि आपके जो हैं वो जबरदस्त campaign चला रहे हैं अपने लाखे उम्मीद कर रहे हैं कि अच्छा result देकर आएंगे। क्या आखरी पैगाम देना चाहेंगे please अपने audience को? मैं सबसे यही कहना चाहूँगा कि आप किसी के उस पे ना जाएं कि मैं फोर्ट का आदमी हूं या मैं इसका आदमी हूं उसका आदमी जिस आदमी में अपने वो बेसिस पे खड़े होने की ताकत ना हो आ, वो आदमी सही नहीं है आ, मैं अपने बेसिस पे खड़ा हूं मैं आप लोगों के लिए हमेशा साथ सामने रहूंगा आपके लिए आपके लिए सेवा करूंगा और मैं उसी सेवा के भाव से इसमें खड़ा हुआ हूं एल एक्टिविज्म लास्ट थिंग आई मीन आई जस्ट टेक टेन सेकेंड मैं ये एक और चीज समझता हूं कि हमारी कम्युनिटी में बहुत से लोग हैं जो अपने कल्चर या अपनी लैंग्वेज स्किल्स की वजह से पीछे हट जाते हैं चुप रहते हैं I want to be the voice for those muted. I have always been that voice for the mm. muted in the past. I want to be that voice in the council. Mm. 25 साल से आज तक कोई South Asian Toronto City Council में elect नहीं हुआ. 25 years जब से City Council बनी है. Same in Mississauga. एक मौका है जब हम जा सकते हैं. जी. Same in Mississauga. एक मौका है जब हम लोग वहाँ पे जा सकते हैं और इन्शाअल्लाह हमें वो हासिल करना है और हम करके रहेंगे. और उस मुहिम के लिए क्योंकि हमारे बच्चों को मैं अपने बेटे को भी कहता हूं और यही बात मैं सबसे कहूंगा आप जितने भी कैनेडियन एक्शन पा ले जितने भी कैनेडियन डॉलर कमा ले जब तक इस कलर की इज्जत नहीं होगी इस समाज में और इस कंट्री में तब तक हम प्रॉपर तरीके से कैनेडियन नहीं बनेंगे और वो बनाने के लिए और हमारे बच्चों हमारे पोतों को इज्जत हो उसके लिए मैं आज खड़ा हूं और आप सबका सहयोग की उम्मीद है बहुत बहुत शुक्रिया दिवान शिव नारायण साहब के आप तशीफ लाए और और ट्रो थ्री सिक्सटी की नेक कामनाएं आपके साथ हैं थैंक यू एक अच्छा रिजल्ट आप इलेक्शन के अंदर निकालें बहुत बहुत शुक्रिया 24 तारीख को अक्टूबर को इलेक्शन होने जा रहा है नाजीन इटोबी को नॉर्थ के अंदर दिवान शिव नारायण साहब वहां पर खड़े हैं और जहां तक हमारा ये पैगाम जा रहा है यू शुड वोट फॉर द दिवान शिव नारायण साहब सो आई इन्वाइटेड एन अदर इंपॉर्टेंट पर्सन हु इज रनिंग द इलेक्शन ऑफ काउंसलर from ward 5 and his name is hamid akbar hamid akbar is a well known in the in our community from long time he's a political activist as well as the social activist i know him uh, like 20 years now i think so and um, he is a is a very well loyal <laughs> loyal uh, workers of the liberal party and he run very good campaign of many people who are become the mp or mpp even the councillor caroline parish i know that he run many many and now he is running against the carolin parish in ward 5 as well so let's uh, ask uh, hamid akbar saab that uh, hamid akbar saab what do you say about yourself first bahut shukriya thank you very much arif jangiri saab for inviting me for your on, on your on your platform and uh, uh, the reason for my running in this ward 5 here against carolin parish is an incumbent and uh, the reason i am running i have four main issues uh, basically our property tax is going up and up and in brampton in last four year they did not raise any property tax and i want to apply the same model here if i get elected well how come they did not raise property tax in four years and how come we are paying higher 
property tax and the services are not there. The second issue we are facing that I'm going door to door is basically diversity and inclusion. Uh, our population in Mississauga is about 40% of visible minority. When mm -hmm. we look at the, our counselor, there's only one person who is visible minority, mm -hmm. rest of them are non-visible minority. Do we represent 40% of it or not? Mm -hmm. My third issue is basically snow removal. Mm -hmm. When the snow removal people come in mm -hmm. and they pile up the snow in front of the driveway, I want them to clear the city of Mississauga to clear it that way because as a senior, it's very hard for them. And, and many know, people have the heart attack to remove that type that, of the that's, snow actually. That's true. That's, this, it's also become a health issue mm -hmm. and the province should look at it as a health issue. Mm -hmm. And some of these cities like city of Vaughan and I think one city up north in Markham or Richmond, I'm not sure. Mm -hmm. But they also come and clean up those uh, snow. So it may cost a little bit more on that, mm -hmm. but I think it's only from uh, December till April. Mm -hmm. After that, four months. Uh, so even if you have to pay extra for that one, mm -hmm. I don't mind that one. Mm -hmm. But uh, that is becomes a very, very key issue for the seniors. And I, I spoke to the people of, and I'm going door to door, and they say, if you can get it, this thing done, I would really appreciate it. Because if they have a doctor's appointment mm -hmm. at 9 o'clock or 10 o'clock in the morning, and they don't, and the kids obviously have gone to the work, it's not possible for the guy to shovel the snow. So that's one of the reasons. So another another important point, uh, Hamid, uh, I know that you you are uh, you are working very closely with many political leaders in the in the in the MPP as well as, and you have a very vast uh, uh, experience as well in many committees. What are the some committees you work it out before uh, in the city that have you help it out there? Look, I started uh, my political career in 1988 mm -hmm. in Pargill High Park. Mm -hmm. And that's where I learned all the trade. And uh, not only that, that 1988, we, I helped with Jesse Fliss to win the election in 1988, even though the Liberal lost the majority, mm -hmm. not the majority, but uh, uh, lost very badly. Mm -hmm. uh, but learning from him is basically tells me that uh, you can succeed no matter who the government is. And from there on, I also met uh, Bonnie Crombie, mm -hmm. uh, who is the mayor of this, uh, uh, mayor of Mississauga. And she was also sometime councillor of Ward 5 as well. Yes, she, <laughs> she had a fight with uh, yeah. Karen Parrish. So yeah. obviously we liberal are fighting among ourselves. Uh, yes. So I work uh, from there. And then in 1997, Jean Augustine asked me to be her official agent. Uh, and official agent job is basically to look at the finances of all the money coming in and all the money going out and issuing the tax receipt and everything, which is a very responsible mm -hmm. job for it. So he asked me to be her official agent. So I become her official agent in 1997. Mm -hmm. And then I helped uh, Nav the Bain in 2004 in uh, running the nomination. I was the one who nominated him as mm -hmm. the candidate for 2004. And there on, I have helped many. I can go on and on and on. I know that you are a quite a good big uh, social activist. You fundraise for many reasons in the in the town as well, in the city as well, and especially I know that you are you are in the front front side of all those fundraising as well. Not on the or not on the religious uh, mosque of the Cooper Mosque. You are quite involved in there from the inside the uh, Cooper Mosque as well as I City. Outside, you are uh, running, um, raising many funds for the uh, Trade Valley Hospitals, this and there, right? Yes, in 2021, yes. we raised $150,000 mm -hmm. under the banner of Unity in Community. Okay, yeah. And the Unity in Community is uh, recently it's got a, a charitable conference. number. Yeah. But uh, we, before that, we were pushing into uh, accommodate our uh, organization for example, we raised, uh, we collected brand new blanket mm -hmm. for the uh, less fortunate people. Mm -hmm. We collected food. We gave money. Mm -hmm. We do all kind of charitable services to our uh, mm -hmm. less fortunate people. So let's tell about the one of the important award you also received from the government, also Governor Journal. Actually, what is that? Uh, what is that about? <laughs> Back in 1992, mm -hmm. there was. Um, 125th anniversary of Canada. And uh, there are some prominent uh, uh, 
volunteers of foreign, prominent Canadian, mm -hmm. they were giving a word, a medal called a Confederation. Mm -hmm. And it was given by the Governor General of, uh, of Canada. And his name was Ray Natishan. Okay. And he was basically a conservative. Yeah. Uh, he lost the election and Brian Mulroney appointed him as the Governor General. So it's a big achievement and I think I'm the first Pakistani who received that uh, award. This is a big, big, huge achievement and it's a big medal there mm -hmm. that uh, I'm not wearing it today. I thought, uh, <laughs> you should wear it. You should wear I should have wear it, <laughs> yeah, yeah. uh, yeah. but it's uh, on my other jacket. <laughs> okay. Okay. One of the important questions which is I'm asking actually, it was my intro as well, that uh, you know that this uh, recent uh, shooting happened and a, f and a police officer died and the two innocent people also died. Again, one is yesterday. The, uh, the owner of the workshop, uh, uh, Shakila Shaf, is from Pakistan community as well in the Milton and as well as there is a student who is doing the part-time job there uh, from the India. He also got shot and he also get that. Today I heard that. So three people died and, and th this is not something new happening in Peel region, no. especially in your ward. Mm -hmm. Your ward is having a lot of issues of the crimes, especially in the Malton area. If yes. you see that, there are a lot of jewelers who are lot of time theft away uh, even during the daytime right right, right? and there are a lot of people's uh, drugs wars is going on they have a yeah. lot of drugs selling in this area as well yeah. the park conditions are not good i know one of the park where i was lived before is on the barrendale where two schools are there that park's condition is not very good and and the why i not i live around 15 years there's no splash pad was even upgraded there there was no park so these are all having the Ward 5 issues there. So when you become the councillor, Hamid, mm -hmm. what do you want to bring the change there? My biggest change is basically look at the rate of the uh, crime and where it started. Mm -hmm. I think the basic uh, uh, problem is underemployment and unemployment of the issue mm -hmm. of that area. If we create a, a, a sustainable job or good paying job, I think we can decrease. Secondly, the education should be started at the school level. Mm -hmm. Like uh, the drugs are, uh, drugs are bad for you. Mm -hmm. Drugs are will kill you. Not only kill you, but uh, in future it will ruin your career and uh, whatever you have. It destroy your mental health. It destroy your career. Absolutely. Your everything. Absolutely. Yes. So I will look at the core issue of the uh, problem. Mm -hmm. See what's the core issue. The other thing we get that we should uh, develop or get more sports facilities, especially in our park in summertime. Why can't we put a basketball net in there? Why can't we put a small uh, for soccer field there so that the people can engage themselves? When you have plenty of time on your hand, obviously you think about, okay, I, if I do this, if I do, I can become a rich or something mm -hmm. like that. But if you are engaged in sports activity, mm -hmm. the chances are that you will not go into that area. Mm -hmm. So this is uh, something, uh, so if good luck, I first of all say, I say, so one of, tell me something, any one story, when you are door, knocking a door of somebody, the story that you get, that you want to share with our audience today. In most cases, when I get 30 seconds mm -hmm. of the person attention, mm -hmm. I, I introduce myself, uh, sorry to bother you, my mm -hmm. name is Hamid Akbar, I'm running for the Ward 5 Councillor. My main reason for running is basically property tax. Mm -hmm. And the air goes, the antenna goes up mm -hmm. and they say... That's what your you, buzzwords. Yeah, eh? <laughs> okay. and they say, what do you mean by that? And I say, to them, well, you see our property tax going up and up, but we are not getting our services. So yeah. I'm going to try to implement the Brampton model. Mm. So they said, yeah, okay, that's, that sounds good to me. Uh -huh. The other one is there was a, on, on the, uh, on my From the other side, you, you heard any story, a good story or bad story, where people want to share with you something. I, uh, I didn't hear much of this to their story because they are on, like on the, the, if you get 30 seconds of uh, their attention of the water, mm. that's a big thing. Mm -hmm. Unless you want to sit down and discuss mm -hmm. with that, that's a different story. So somebody call you in and say, okay, sit down, we talk to you. Uh, not yet. Not yet. Okay. Not yet. But okay. one door I knocked at it mm -hmm. and he looked at it and he said, oh, did you work for Jan Krejci? <laughs> I said, yes. Oh, I'll vote for you. And he was a white guy. Okay. Uh, that was one of the 
eating. So what was the last message you want to give uh, Hamid to your, your voters of Ward 5 that what they have supposed to do on 24th October? First of all, the voters should come out and vote. Mississauga or city of Mississauga or municipal el uh, election is extremely important, more important than the federal election and provincial because that's where we live. <laughs> that's where we pay our taxes, that's where we raise our families, that's where we work. Mm -hmm. So it's extremely extreme because the voter turnout in the uh, municipality is very low. Mm -hmm. And especially in our community, our ladies do not go out. And I urge all our sisters to please come out and vote and make it as an event, like taking the kids or grandkids to the voter and show them how the voting is done so that they, when they grow up, they will be able to uh, be encouraged to vote. Okay, thank you, Hamid, for giving us the time of Toronto 360, and we are wishing you best of luck on 24th of October. I hope that you become the councillor of the of a community of Ward 5, and you will perform well there. What the promises you would made today in front of this camera today, don't forget if you win that. No, no, this is in a, in a writing, right. and I am going to keep this in, in my... But mind you one thing, that the councillor have one vote uh -huh. and Bonnie have one vote. I'm going to push because as a uh, public servant, I know where the money can be found. Okay. So that's uh, one thing that I have good at. Either you increase the revenue or, dec or cut the cost. Or cut the cost. Thank you very much once again, Hamid, for coming into the Toronto 360. Thank you very much, Arif. I appreciate it uh, for the time. Come and host your next event at Galaxy Grand Convention Center Brampton, an elegantly designed contemporary convention, banquet hall, wedding venue and conference center, prime convenient location close to Mississauga, Milton and Oakville with extensive parking spaces, more than 23,000 square feet of space with capacity of up to 1,100 guests, celebrate wedding, corporate and social events, treat your guest with a tasty cuisine menu Created by our award-winning chefs, Galaxy Grand Convention Center, where every guest is a star. Book your event today. Call 905-458-9888 or visit galaxygrand.ca. If you are looking for a reliable, professional, and affordable travel agency in your town, then your search is over. Global Travel & Tours is your personal travel partner. Our dedicated staff always ready to make your trip hassle-free, memorable, and cost-effective. We will assist you with hotel reservations, the transportation, visa assistance, and travel insurance. Please give us a call right now at 1-877-275-3555. Are you looking to strengthen your brand or launching a new business or product? Let me tell you, promotional products are the most economical way to build a relationship with the customer. Yeah, like here on PadsPromo.com, they have everything from apparel, awards, bags, drinkware, fun, headwear, health, office, tech, and more. Wow, they really have everything under one roof. Call now, 416-710-6777 or visit pantspromo.com. معلومات کے لیے وزٹ کریں اپنی قریبی فارمسی یا ہماری ویب سائٹ www.greenish.com Dixie Electronics and Appliances is your number one destination for electronics and appliances. Choose from TVs and home audio that will entertain your whole family. 
to home comfort essentials for your living space and a wide selection of appliances to build your perfect kitchen. From selection to delivery, Dixie Electronics is everything you need. Price match guarantee and 0% financing available, all under one roof. Come today at 5120 Dixie Road, Mississauga, or visit the website at dixieelectronics.ca. नाजिन जैसे कि मैंने आपको बताया कि हम जो है आज का प्रोग्राम स्पेसिफिकली टुडेज प्रोग्राम इज अबाउट काउंसलर एक्शन एंड दैट काउंसलर एक्शन इज कमिंग ऑन 24th ऑफ अक्टूबर एंड नेक्स्ट मंथ एंड दे एंड यू नो दैट द ऑफिशियल कैंपेन इज ऑलरेडी स्टार्टेड इन द इन द जीटीए आई सी सम ऑफ द एरियाज स्पेशली इन द मिल्टन आई सी लॉट ऑफ पीपल्स आर पुटिंग देयर साइंस आउटसाइड द होम्स आर से ऑन द ऑन द स्ट्रीट एज वेल बट आई डिडंट सी येट इन द मिसेस सागा Uh, that those signs are said so the my third candidate uh, um, guest who i'm invited for the for today's discussion is from ward 6 ward 6 is a very important ward you know that right it is in, it is in the center of the mississauga right and many impor- and the you know umar al ghabra and there are many others uh, mpps are there who win those elections and a very important ward and lot of uh, services working around that ward and you know that who is running from that ward 6 a very popular social activist and political activist i know him from last 10 to 12 years and i know that in lot of uh, uh, mpc peace election he is the main person who is uh, who is helping them to win the elections he i know that his uh, uh, he he has uh, he has his vision about the city he has vision about this uh, place where he live uh, and i know that he want to give back to the community he is very active mashallah and he is one of the prominent leader of our community and his name is mohammad kamil and mohammad kamil thank you very much for trying to take to give the time today thank you arif jangir sir for inviting me in your show thank you so kamil tell me something about yourself first because people want to know about mohammad kamil who is mohammad kamil yes mohammad kamil is a social and political activist as mm. you know and i'm involved in the social and political activities for the last 15 years i came in Missis- in uh, canada in 2002 and from that time i involved arranging organizing different uh, religious events and then i learned how to contact people how to organize and i was like i got lots of experience meeting people and when you meet people you came to know each other you get to know their problem and how to organize the events how to connect the people how to connect the community and when you organize these kind of events you connect other people also so in that way and uh, when, when i started uh, these kind of events then i started uh, events like a blood donation camps mm-hmm. legal free legal aid clinics and the, you know the uh, the donation for the flood victims all kind of this i think if, if we can organize these kind of events that will help and that uh, like you can give the to the back to the community mm-hmm. so uh, well, is, you have a uh, you have a very good profile kamil i know that yeah for specific but my number one question i'm asking to many other candidate as well that why you decided to run for the city council yes very as a, as very a very important question thank you mm-hmm. uh, as i said that i am a social and political activist so and mississauga center and ward 6 is my home i am mm-hmm. living in that that area for the last 15 years and uh, being a resident being a political activist and being a tax payer also i have issues with this city i have issues with the local council mm-hmm. councilor uh, although i am very active in the area but i never met with my existing councilor mm. in in my life mm-hmm. practically mm. so that reminds me that why our ward is so neglected that i am very much active in the community 
and he never approached and I never saw him in, in the area. Mm -hmm. And the second thing is, uh, like, is, it's Visaga uh, Center and Ward 6 used to be comparatively very peaceful mm -hmm. in the past. Mm -hmm. But as the crimes are increasing, our area is also impact. Im getting impact. Mm -hmm. And every day I am listening the story that uh, the car is being stolen from someone's driveway. And when uh, like, uh, the break-in is going on, mm -hmm. and when the, in the winter time, when uh, in winter storm hits, the, uh, there is no proper cleaning of the roads and the streets. So people in the winter time, they cannot <coughs> even go to work, or people cannot drop their kids to the school because the snow is not clean. So these kinds of issues, um, you know, uh, it bothers me. So I decided to run, and you know the controversy. Uh, I don't want to mention, uh, but everybody it's knows. Okay, controversy is always generated when you are running in a political arena, either from the city council or the, from the provincial, or because there is always, uh, you know, that the the uh, what the thought process is is depends on the thought process, right? It depends upon the, how you think. Uh, how you see the world, right? right. It depends upon people disagree or people agree with you. So that's okay. So I know. Uh, so how the campaign is going on? Campaign is going very good. We are okay. Let, before you give the answer, let's run your campaign. Some yeah, of the yeah. good videos of your campaign. I know that very important personality also comes to you and uh, and uh, she endows you as well. This momentous occasion. You know, I I have known Camel for the last five years. Uh, since I began my campaign uh, as a young MPP back then, or a candidate for MPP, still young now, <laughs> but more experienced. And certainly I have to say, I don't know if this is working. Yeah, yeah it's working. Um, I, certainly I have diversity on our council as well. You know, in Mississauga, we have about we have 12 councillors. I think it's important that we have diverse councillors from different backgrounds that can speak to the different issues that are happening in the community. I know one of uh, Kamal's slogans is also sincerity. This is very important in politics. We have to speak truth to power, and we have to always be honest with our constituents. And so I think this is a trait that Kamal is exhibiting all the time. And so I'm so delighted to be able to support him uh, in Ward 6. Um, I think it's good to bring in new blood, fresh perspective into the city council. There are several seats that are being contested. This is one that will be very highly contested. So it is really incumbent to each and every one of you that are here today to come on out and support Camel, whether it's through volunteering, whether it's through a small donation that you can make, or talking to your friends. The word of mouth is so powerful, and I know Kamal is so, so good at that, because every time I go to an event with him, he knows everybody in that room. And so if you can talk to another five people to, t to tell them about Kamal, his work ethic, and what he's going to bring to the city of Mississauga here in Ward 6, this is exactly the kind of support that Kamal needs. So I'm really glad that we're on this journey together. It's been a long time. It's been five years. Uh, and I'm really excited for the opportunities that are laying ahead because it's important to have partners with whom we can work on. Um, you know, th there are issues that need to be addressed. And so having good relationships across uh, the different um, governments, whether it's municipal, provincial, or federal, it's really, really important because at the end of the day, there's only one taxpayer. Right? And there's only one citizen in, in our area. So we need to have seamless communication. And I know Kamala and I, we certainly have that communication. And so I, I'm glad to be part of his team. And I really look forward to his election in October. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Nazin, uh, you saw that uh, how beautiful campaign uh, Kamel is running actually. Kamel, wonderful campaign. I saw the diversity. I saw that you, are, you have a very good relationship with, with, the, with the Filipino community, with the Chinese community, as well as 
I see that um, many community are, which is living around you, right? There, there are a lot of uh, Ukrainian and uh, Croatian community as well living in your area a lot, right? Yeah. So because uh, you know, uh, I'm a political activist. Uh -huh. So I run. I was politically and practically involved in last two campaign of the MPP Natalia Kosandova. Mm -hmm. So I know so many people in that area and they know me personally that I, how active I was in 2018 and now in 2022. So I, I had already connection with them, I, I already communicating with them and they know that if I will be elected as a councillor, mm -hmm. I will not be councillor just for my community, mm -hmm. but I will be a councillor for, for each everyone. and everybody community especially all the Canadian immigrants mm -hmm. whose voice is not, not being heard mm -hmm. and right now there is no diversity in the city hall. So they see me, their candidate, in uh, you know, in coming election. And I know that you have a very good relationship in the churches as well. I know that some of the prominent uh, peoples are having a very good friendship with you. Yes, uh, I was invited basically uh, two weeks ago in a church mm -hmm. and there is a list of churches where I have to go and meet with them. Mm -hmm. So I, I like Pastor Alex, he is coming back on uh, September 23rd. Mm -hmm. uh, he is my advisor from the Filipino community okay. and he supposed to be come back from the Philippines in October. But since he knows that he has to run my campaign in his community, uh -huh. so he's cutting short his travel. He's coming back on 23rd, then he will arrange a meet and greet with the Filipino community in his uh, community center. Uh -huh. And then we will be going each Sunday to some church to explain how I can bring a change in the, in the world and how can be a, I be a strong voice for everybody living in Ward 6. So tell me about something that um that's uh, the other community because you are from your background is from Pakistan, right? right. The Pakistani community. So how the Pakistani community is responding when you are is uh, running for this election? Uh, well, uh, they most of them they are very happy mm -hmm. and they think that I can make this time. And uh, as you know, uh, in the last, if you if you historically if you see in the last hundred years maybe in the in Mississauga there is no Muslim or Pakistani counselor, although mm -hmm. there are many MPPs or MPs got elected mm -hmm. from the Pakistani background yep. or from the Muslim background, yep. but not a single uh, counselor has been elected so far because uh, unfortunately uh, we don't think that uh, the city uh, election is that important. much important, but I'm trying to tell our people that this city election is very important and it will impact the life of their kids. So now people are listening, people are getting education and inshallah hopefully my community and other community they will support me and they will come out in the coming election and in hopefully inshallah I will win the, this seat. So Kamil, the, one of the intro when I was starting this program, uh, community talk today, so one of my in one of the my concern was the security of the city, right? Right. And you saw you heard about the incident yesterday, right? Yes. A police officer is shot that, as well as the two other people that died in the Milton as well, right? Yes. So it's, a, it's still not uh, all the details are not yet come up, but but the, it's a very sad incident, and yes. this is not the oh. first incident yep. in the city. It, now these uh, crimes are spreading, right? And the number are increasing, and uh, in every school high school especially you will find the drugs uh, dealers are there uh, and the drugs is sell outside the schools children are involved in the yes. drugs and they are not only taking the drugs in the name of uh, allowing the weed we allow we open this uh, whole things and destroying the peace of the society as well as the mental health of our youth and city has a large responsibilities about the schools uh, and the atmosphere so as a counselor, if you win tomorrow, how can you deal this issue? Yeah, unfortunately, it's a very alarming and very sensitive issue. You know, we all are very much concerned about the health, about the future of our future generation. Mm -hmm. So in my opinion, it's a very complex, complicated issue It because everybody knows that the federal government they allowed and they legalized 
marijuana, cannabis, weed, uh, just to get more money, just to earn more money. But they did not think that they, this will spread in our schools, in our college. Uh, I was very vocal mm. when they were allowing these kind of thing and legalizing. Anyway, it's already done. Uh, at the city level, yes, it's a very serious issue. And once I will be elected as a councillor, mm -hmm. I will not be sitting at home just like the other councillors are doing. Mm -hmm. uh, I know myself that I will be on the street in the, some neighborhood, uh, visiting the schools regularly, mm -hmm. talking to the parents, talking to the teachers, talking to the Tipil district board and will try to arrange meetings with the police and the, and, and the uh, school trustee and the counselor and will try to you know make awareness within the, uh, the t uh, teachers and the students that they should tell to the students that uh, using this marijuana or cannabis weeds is not good for their mental health and not, not good for their future. But at the same time, uh, I will also make sure that law enforcement agencies, especially police, they should be doing their work. As a re residents, as a, as a taxpayers, is, this is our duty, this is our uh, right mm -hmm. to tell them that uh, if, the, uh, if uh, the school's boy or girls are using the marijuana or cannabis, so that means someone is selling them. Yes. And if we know who is selling them and if we know the kids are using them, so why can't you stop them? So there should be an accountability they, and I will definitely involve uh, in, this, in this situation the uh, local MPP mm -hmm. and will also work with the provincial government, police and city government. Mm -hmm. It needs lots of efforts and I'm ready to uh, put my efforts. So, Kamil, wonderful, and I, I'm wishing you best of your campaign. And what's the last message you want to give to your, your voter uh, for 24th of October? Yes, thank you very much. And I think uh, the message is very loud and clear. Normally, people don't go and vote in the, pro uh, in the city election because they think it's not party basis. But in my opinion, this is the most important election because uh, the common people, when they go or they seek their, you know, uh, the facility or services, mm -hmm. they go for to the city. Like if they want to make some changes in their houses, and make uh, the Zoning changes, issues, the issues, property yeah. issues, yeah. snow yeah. issues, yeah. property tax is going up, law and order is, is situation, police matters, it all belong to the city. One, if you will not elect the right person, then your problem will not be solved. Okay. So I'm ready to solve their problem. So please go and vote on 24th October and elect the right person. Thank you. So thank you, Kamil, for Ward 6. Uh, uh, we wish you best of luck that uh, you will win the election and you will bring the change. And uh, we know that you are a very committed person of our community as well as for the, you are the candidate for the other communities as well. And you have a very good a relationship with the other communities as well and we have to once again uh, wish you best of luck from Toronto 360 TV as well. Thank you Arif Jangiri and thank you 360 TV. Thank you sir. Thank you sir. So my next uh, gentleman who I call for the uh, today's program because you know that this is passive program we are doing for the councillor election that's going to be happen on 24th of October 2022 and I once again emphasize all my community because my community is very weak in giving the votes. They have to come out on 24th of October and give the vote to any candidate to whom they want to see in the council. Because this council election is very important elections because there are a lot of services which is related to the city. And those services, if you not send your candidate, if you not send the right person into the city hall, then you will not get that benefit, right? You not get that services in your area. So it's important for you that you have to select the very uh, right candidate. And today I call from Ward 9 as well, uh, Muhammad Shabir Saab. Muhammad Shabir Saab, thank you for coming, joining Toronto 360 TV and giving the time to us. Thank you very much, sir. Thank you very much for giving me a chance to speak to my public. And thank so, you. So, Muhammad Shabir Saab, you first of all, uh, uh, 
कि वाई यू वॉन्ट टू रन फॉर सिटी काउंसिल वार्ड नाइन एंड कितने अरसे से चला रहे हैं कंपनी अगर आप बेसिकली कहें तो 2015 ओ इन 2015 फेडरल इलेक्शन वर देयर एंड आई सॉ द टर्न आउट इट वाज लाइक 58 टू 60 परसेंट आई डिड नॉट लाइक इट सो आई डिसाइडेड टू रन ए कैंपेन दैट वाज पब्लिक अवेयरनेस कैंपेन दैट एवरीवन मस्ट वोट बिकॉज ईच वोट काउंट्स एंड आई स्टार्टेड ऑफ एंड यू विल नॉट बिलीव इन 2018, uh-huh. I did a walk from here to Ashwa oh, wow. just to promote the everyone must vote. Okay. I did uh, write a uh, few letters to Prime Minister. Mm-hmm. I gave suggestion. I gave the suggestion to the premiers, mm-hmm. and even I did give a letters to these um, mayors. Mm-hmm. Uh, and uh, later on, I thought that no, unless I am in the race myself, uh, this is the answer to that question. What you are saying. Mm-hmm. I will not be able to push through what I want. Oh, you cannot make the change without you are the part of that. That change, thank right? you. This is what I want to say. Oh, okay. So tell me something. And, something that uh, being a councillor, if you are elected, because I know the uh, Paxato is long time running councillor there. I'm not sure she is running this year or not running because her health is going up and down. I heard that about, but I'm not sure. So tell me that. What are the some important point? on the basis of which you are running your campaign number in ward 9 let's see pad is not there okay first answer she is sick okay her name is not on the ballot okay and uh, may second mm. i did uh, enroll myself registered myself okay. and the same day was my eid day okay. instead of celebrating the eid i celebrated second of may just to kick off my uh, this uh, campaign okay and will you believe it yes day before yesterday i completed 100% houses went door to door and i so and how much I, um, what is the number of those houses almost near to 20000 you can say because uh, about 40000 and here the average we count is two people okay so its average is uh, like okay so you you campaign 20000 houses door to door knocking give your message give your card as well that i am running for ward 9 you did a very hard work though uh my message is that uh, there are three three tiers of the government mm-hmm. first is the federal mm-hmm. that is lot of job they do it is important but they do the rules regulation and the federal level mm-hmm. no, no concern with the grassroots mm-hmm. same thing with the provincial that is if and then also a party election let's come to the municipal election it is a non party election and it is everything from garbage cleaning of our roads footpaths walkways libraries transportation little bit of policing everything you talk of the only message is that this is done by the municipal government then it is the most important government which we must be very careful to elect the people and especially all the communities it is a diverse community i want to see the diversity in the in the municipal election and especially in mississauga that what I, what is my message so what are the some points that on the basis of which you are running your campaign so very right i prepared well in time before election five point agenda i prepared all these flyers uh, well before time and uh, these are the five points which i prepared exactly and now one by one we discuss like that property tax property tax which is going up and up i want to put it down i'm not against the property tax i'm in favor of the property tax mm-hmm. but i'm against the luxury budget i want to take the luxury out of the budget uh, what i mean unnecessary spending and expenditure by city of mississauga i decrease the pro- property tax i will file a motion the first thing i'm going to do these points i'm talking it will be in as a, in the motion and i'm going to go for that the other important point because you know that i asked this questions to many other people who are today come in my program that you know that the yesterday incident a police officer was shot that 
and then the two people that also die in the Milton, the same person shot them as well. And uh, this gun violence is increasing in our uh, GTA all over. Every day you see, you heard about gunshots. And uh, the other thing which is very, very uh, concerned uh, for all the people who are living in Mississauga or before we not see that there's a drugs is increasing in that area. We see in outside every school, you will see the children are taking the weeds or the marijuana because after when the federal government opened the door of these things, they'll in the every in every school these things are increasing now. Mm -hmm. And and you know that there are two problems occur. One is the crime rates increasing, and the other is the mental disorders is happening in the youth as well. So how being a city councillor of Ward Nine, what do you want to do something? to stop, to minimize these impact? Very nice. Very good question. Uh, crime is going up and up. Oh. No doubt. Oh. I want to control. Oh. But when the crime go, start going up, it means the police is not able to control. Mm -hmm. That is the time when the civilized society comes in, mm -hmm. get together, help the police to decrease the crime. Mm -hmm. This is what I am suggesting I will. Make how, an app. How? I will make an app which will be known as one click away. We, all the civilized society will come on that, but the feedback is just keep our ID anonymous. Mm -hmm. And you see the result. This is what I'm going to do. I give you an example. Okay. Let's say you go to the Tim Hart. Okay. You see a crime. Mm -hmm. You click my app. Okay. You give the location. Nothing else about because your ID is anonymous. Mm -hmm. Second point, my app will ask you that what type of crime? You click that, mm -hmm. you give two things to the quick response team. One, number mm -hmm. one, location. Number two, type of crime. Mm -hmm. Now, the quick response team, if that, uh, if that case materializes, mm -hmm. I'm telling the people, they get a letter of appreciation from me within a month from the counselor. Mm -hmm. Second, they get uh, from the city, they get a certificate of appreciation at the end of the uh, year appreciating them for helping the police as well as the city to decrease the crime. But few things are which federal has to do, few things are with the primary. My job so is... You, so you are saying that you are introducing an uh, app on the, on the council levels to, and that app will be everybody download that app on their cell phones or digital devices and on that app you will say that if somebody see any crime he can go into that app and he give the location where the crime is happening and the other things you are saying that they, they will they will know what type of crime you have the down 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 menu you will select that it is uh, somebody's thefting somebody snitching somebody doing something xyz and you will pull that one and that response immediately goes to the uh, response team quick uh, rap response team. yeah rapid response team and that rapid response team quickly take an action. So you are thinking that by doing this, it will, it, will minimize, it will minimize the crime rates within the city. Yeah, that is where my jurisdiction is. I would not like very, to go Very practical of... approach. I say very practical approach, Muhammad Shabir. It's not uh, because it's something uh, people don't want to be, people want to be unanimous and they don't want to be anybody know that they, they, their name or their place or somebody, but uh, definitely, they want to involve, They want to help. The I don't want the criminal to know about the guy okay. who is reporting. Okay. I don't want the police uh, to waste their time on the question. Mm. First, act. Mm. Otherwise, we have the information. We have everything about everybody. Government has these things. So, the area which is uh, Ward 9 is a very old area of the Mississauga. And I know that the many services are really getting old, like parks are very getting old. There are a lot of parks need immediate attentions. Uh, and they are, they are schools, they are, uh, transit is also, the roads are not very, uh, very good in the condition. And the several things are there, I see, uh, especially in your area, Meadowville area, is not uh, up to the level where they are supposed to be. So how you bring that changes? Because the money is very restricted in the council as well. You not get every funds, right? But uh, there are a lot of things you need to do. I do not agree with that. that uh... Uh, is if you compare this area with the other uh, mm -hmm. wards, we are much better. I will not say that uh, we are behind any other ward, mm -hmm. but every ward needs the improvement. Mm -hmm. That's what I would like to talk, not the, let's say,
I have this program that uh, I, I'm going to make one of the park as a model. Mm -hmm. That will be my first priority. Mm -hmm. And uh, how? That modern mean I may divide that uh, park into four parts. Mm -hmm. Let's say one for the youth, one for the seniors, mm -hmm. one for the kids where the playgrounds are, and one another. Mm -hmm. So these four places, like uh, I'm going to make, make it a model at the level that everybody is going to appreciate. But I'm not going to do on my own. Mm -hmm. I'm going to put forward that area park in this area. I'm going to ask the people, vote for it. What do you want? Mm -hmm. I'm going to have the opinion of all the people from there. So you're doing the Whatsoever survey. Whatsoever the majority will say, I will do that, but I promise you that will become a model part, and then I will open it, open it for the public, for the, and then advertise, advertise it, mm -hmm. and then I will continue this in the other parts, mm -hmm. and you will see a new example in so what, 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 what you What will be there in the modern parks? What I mean, I'm saying the latest system, okay. anything, if so, the play, uh, playgrounds are, they are going to be beautiful. Okay. If they uh, place for the senior, they will have beautifully benches, their games of that age. Mm -hmm. If the kids, they should have wonderful type of the play area, not like that one is broken, one is not, no. And I, when I prepare it for that, mm -hmm. even I'm thinking after that, it not to privatize. I want the pro, uh, these parks sh should be like the name of people. There are rich people, those who just want their name to put on that. Uh, the park is at this time Aaron. Mm -hmm. And tomorrow, if anybody is ready to uh, give me a financing mm -hmm. and we can do that, I have to go to, into the law and everything. Mm -hmm. Why not uh, instead of Mike? If mm -hmm. the Mike is paying me for that, mm -hmm. why not to make the things better with the public money? And all the parts go number one, and we will be famous in that, oh, something has been done by somebody in uh, War 9, mm -hmm. and we will extend it to the whole Mr. Uh, thank you, Shabir, for coming to the Toronto 360 TV. What's the last message you want to give to but, the audience of your community? What's the message you want to give to the community, your community, what they have supposed to do on 24th October? Uh, my message is that uh, please come out and vote. Vote is your voice. If you don't vote, you, are, you have no voice. First is, instead of sitting at home, we have 13, 14, 15, 16 uh, for advanced polling days, which are in your area. There are two polling stations. Please come out and vote. If anybody is going anywhere, please, 7, 8, and 9, that is a civic center, come there and vote. I want the people to 100% voting, I'm in this favor, but at least it's a shame. Federal has a 60% uh, average, province has 50% average, we have a 30%, this municipal have a 30% average, whereas it should have a 70 to 80% because all the work is done by the municipal and not by the, uh, by the other one. They are important, they are more important, but the most important is the municipal property tax will take a time, another one take a time. But my one thing, the senior citizen mm -hmm. is not going to take, I'm given an idea, beautiful idea is that uh, I want to give two facilities to the senior citizens. Mm -hmm. But how? High school student going from high school to university. Yeah. I want a uh, university, they need 40, 20 hour community service. In that community list, I'm going to include the senior citizen. These, uh, these young people can go cut the grass, and clean the, uh, clear the snow from the driveway, and then city will give them a, a 40 hour uh, voluntary uh, certificate, as well as we will be able to introduce a relation between the senior and the youth. Wonderful and uh, there is another uh, very nice point, that pile of snow, but a blockage of driveway, yeah. pile of snow which comes right in front of each driveway, City of Vaughan, City of Scarborough, City of Etobicoke, e uh, Toronto, all these cities have the law to, re re uh, to clear that pile of snow okay. because so that the people can come out of their yeah. houses in the morning. But not in Mississauga. What is the problem with the city of Mississauga? Uh -huh. Are we not paying the taxes? I promise. I'm going to fight for it for the right of the people because we deserve all these things. And they w this will be removed and we will make a law, I will take it to the council and file a motion and you will see 
I want to see which counselor goes against it because it's a is we it, I am doing a problem for all Mrs. Sarah, with a, without money, few things, yeah. very less money, two snow plow wings, yeah. just uh, to same operator, same, uh, mm. what is the problem? Mm. It has to pass. Second is senior citizen, no money involved, neither on the city side, nor, nor, nor on the, uh, the student side. Why not to implement that? Thank you, sir. You are a wonderful boy. Today I'm so happy. Somebody called me and I was so busy. I worked. 8 to 10 hour, uh, hour every day. Mm -hmm. In the morning, I take my respectable wife. Mm -hmm. She goes with me. Then another son used to go with me. Then another son. As a family, I, ra I ran this uh, wonderful campaign. campaign. And yeah. today, um, I'm saying, like a day before uh, yesterday, I completed 100% of the houses going house to house. Either I met everybody or I knock each or I left my flyer with my own hand. I'm proud of it. Wonderful campaign run by you, Sh uh, Muhammad Shabir, and I wish you best of luck again. And I say that uh, you'd work very hard from last uh, many months and year. And I know that you are well prepared for what you want to deliver to the community. Uh, thank you very much and wish you best of luck for 24th of October. And we want to see you in the council. Thank you. Thank you very much, sir. You are really great. Nice of you. Thank you. So, Nazim, today's program was program of the councillor. And I tried to bring a councillor of uh, three ward of the Mississauga and one from the Toronto. And uh, you, next week also, you will see some of the few councillors I invited you because you mean, this is the... There are many uh, good uh, pupils are running for this election from the Pakistani community as well as the from the Indian community, from the subcontinent community. So my focus is that I will introduce all of them, try my best to call this Toronto 360 TV and tell and show that that how our community is becoming really an active community and they and some of our very respectable senior brothers who have a very good experience, they are running for this election and they have a very good uh, I am telling you they have a very good profile and they have a very good vision as well. And I'm sure that if they are winning for this election, they will perform very well in the city council. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. अपनी नौयत का मुनफरिद मेला कनाडा में पहली बार पाकिस्तान के सबसे बड़े कार्टूनिस्ट जावेद इकबाल की आमद 18 सितंबर को सुबह 11 बजे से शाम 7 बजे तक मेपल बैंक्वेट हॉल 1325 एग्लिंटन एवेन्यू ईस्ट मिसिसागा में फैमिली फेस्टिवल लिविंग लेजेंड जावेद इकबाल के कार्टूनों की नुमाइश हर घंटे बाद कार्टूनिस्ट जावेद इकबाल का लाइव वर्क फूड स्ट्रीट और दिलचस्पी के लिए बहुत कुछ फ्री एडमिशन free parking for more information or sponsorship call brother at 416-835-1997 assalamu alaikum my name is zara nur abbas siddiqui kabhi kabhi kuch kirdar bahut kareeb hote hain aapke dil ke aur phir jab un kirdaron ke liye aap se itna pyar mile to aur bhi acha lagta hai news is i am nominated as zeba in pass ji inshallah mulaqat hogi aap sab se first ontario center mein on the 24th of september for eight ham awards bhooliyega mat tickets for and book kara le ne kis baat ka intezar hai kya wait kar rahe hain go and book your tickets now hum sab aa rahe hain pakistan se aap sab se milne in canada wellness awaits you at dairy health and wellness center where we work closely with you to provide the most comprehensive rehabilitation services. We are here to help you live a happy, healthy, and vibrant life so you can reach your health potential and goals through exemplary chiropractic, physiotherapy, massage therapy, acupuncture, naturopath, foot orthotics, compression stockings, braces, and supportive therapy protocols. We strive for excellence through diligent care, patient treatment, education and satisfaction. Our practitioners are highly qualified and can provide a wide range of services to people of all ages. Book an appointment today at 905-956-5330 or visit dairyhealthwellness.com. Roshan Mustaqbil aur apno ka saath jannat se kam nahi. 
आप भी कनाडा को अपना घर बना सकते हैं और अपनों को पास बुला सकते हैं एक्सपीरियंस्ड एंड रेगुलेटेड इमिग्रेशन कंसल्टेंट शहबाज अकबर के साथ मास्टर ऑफ बिजनेस क्लास इमिग्रेशन एक्सप्रेस एंट्री स्किल क्लास इमिग्रेशन रेफ्यूजी क्लेम and family sponsorships call now at 416-855-9464 green star immigration solutions canada since 1993 mwc food banks have provided individuals and families with non-perishable food halal meat and essential household items we have a special focus on the needs of our children over 10,000 families across Canada rely on MWC food banks to supplement their food requirements. We serve in Scarborough, Mississauga, and in First Nations communities in Ontario, Northwest Territories, and Nunavut. Your generosity can literally change lives. It's time now, more than ever, to look after your neighbor. Charity starts at home. Please donate generously to Muslim Welfare Canada Emergency COVID-19 Food Fund. Call 1-866-754-3111 or visit mwcanada.org. Zindagi kharch ho jati hai apnoon ke liya rakme banane mein. Hume apna bana lo thodi rakam bachane mein. Aaj hi contact kare insurance bazaar ke office apni auto, home aur life insurance ke liye. 416-817-1313 Ya visit kare www.insurancebazaar.ca आपकी बचत और आपके मुस्तकबिल का मुहाफिज इंश्योरेंस बाजार हेलो आई एम फ्रेड आइजनबर्ग द मेयर ऑफ हैमिल्टन एंड आई एम वेरी हैप्पी एंड प्लीज्ड टू अनाउंस दैट द हम अवार्ड्स द 8th एनुअल हम अवार्ड्स विल बी राइट हियर इन द सिटी ऑफ हैमिल्टन वन मोर टाइम आई एम लुकिंग फॉरवर्ड टू सीइंग यू ऑल ऑन सितंबर द 21st राइट हियर इन द फर्स्ट ऑन्टेरियो सेंटर एंड थैंक यू टू हम टेलीविजन एंड द डिजिटल मीडिया नेटवर्क फॉर ब्रिंगिंग सच अ वंडरफुल इवेंट टू द सिटी ऑफ हैमिल्टन on 24th September 2022 at the First Ontario Centre In times of trouble what do you do Do you face it alone or do you find the best help that you can At the law office of Snow Bernaz we fight for your rights no matter what the allegations We will protect your rights and defend your case in any type of criminal charges, guiding families through some of their darkest times in any type of family law court proceedings. We are a general litigation practice law firm with extensive experience in criminal law, family law, civil litigation, real estate and immigration, serving you from our two convenient locations, Ajax and Mississauga. Call 905 6837449 or visit snoberlawyer.ca More shopping? Yes, on my home. <laughs> uh welcome to Panam Blinds Limited. Uh, my name is uh, Bobby and I would like to introduce our very newest uh, product it is only with us with panam blinds uh, in improved this combination of uh, uh, and man. silver shades so venus shades so or the shangri-la shades so it's a very unique and new product in different color it's an energy saver you can save your 85 percent energy and also it is uh, it has child safety features over here if you see here if it goes down it will open itself and you will see through from this but ultraviolet rays controlled no uv light will come in and you can see out and people they can see very slightly please come to our store and see how many beautiful colors we do have and enjoy your comfort of life there are only three beneficiary to your state the government your favorite charities and your family which two would you choose let me show you how you can convert taxes into donations while leaving a bigger legacy for your family call and let me show you how the law professionals at tm law providing professional services in the gta in the areas of civil litigation criminal defense family matters and real estate serving the community in English, Punjabi, Hindi and Urdu. 
For more information, call Tahir Majid, Barrister and Solicitor at 647-838-4773 or you can visit TahirLaw.ca. Managing your own business can be a lot of work. A professional accountant always makes a difference. It's imperative that your accountant keeps your finances simple, accurate, and confidential. Audited? Need help? That's why we chose Scans Accountants. They make you feel at ease knowing you and your business are in good hands. Scans Accountants, team of professionals. Team Farhan, market solutions designed for you. 15 year experience of market services. Customized market solutions as per your need. Commercial, residential, construction, and agricultural mortgage. Our lowest mortgage rate. At Team Farhan, we're here for all your mortgage needs. Team Farhan, go in the far khidmat ka zaroor mokka dijega. And this is my personal promise to you, you will not be disappointed. At, At Team Farhan, we, we have, have a mortgage, mortgage solution designed for you. For you. 416-569-9294 or log on to www.teamfarhan.com Masjid Nurul Haram एक शानदार रूहानी तामीराती मंसूबा माशाल्लाह वर्ल्ड इस्लामिक मिशन कनाडा खुशी से ऐलान करते हैं कि मस्जिद नूरुल हरम की तामीर का काम शुरू हो गया है इस प्रोजेक्ट का डिजाइन और तफसीलात 